Australia's most wanted criminal, Hakan Ayek, known as the Facebook gangster or Big Huck, has just been arrested in Turkey. He is known for being the leader of the Aussie cartel, linked to leaders of the Comanchero and Hells Angels biker gangs, and importing estimated billions of dollars worth of narcotics into Australia. We are going to take a deep dive into his story, how he was arrested, and what the repercussions of this will entail. Hakan Ayek was born in Australia, January 31st, 1979. He studied at the James Cook Boys Technology High School and in the 2000s he found himself in charge of a major criminal empire. He owned brothels, karaoke bars in Sydney and Canberra, and throughout this time he was associated with the Comanchero Bikey Gang, Middle Eastern Drug Syndicates, and the Chinese Triad. In March in 2008, at an airport just outside of Perth, police intercepted an aircraft that was supposedly carrying illegal drugs. $7 million worth of meth and MDMA were found on board which turned out to be the largest drug bust in Western Australia's history. This bust was linked back to Hakan Ayet and was the first time he appeared on Australia's police radar. At this point he had already built connections with the Chinese triad members to have an endless supply of narcotics. He just needed a way to get them in and distribute them. He began working with an old high school friend named Dax Naguru, who was an enforcer for the Kamanchero Biker Gang. He realised the best way to distribute the narcotics into the Australian market would be through the local bikey gangs. By 2010, multiple federal agencies believed he was the lead operator of large shipments of narcotics into Australia. The Australian media shined a light on Hakan in 2008, calling him the Facebook gangster as he showed off his lavish lifestyle, showing off flash cars, trips overseas and more. In August of 2010, he fled New South Wales to Cyprus where he was the subject of an Interpol notice and was arrested in Cyprus but escaped on bail after appearing in court. I don't know how he was allowed on bail but this seems like a massive fuck up by the Cyprus police. Sources say he probably bribed them. After the Cyprus debacle he mostly travelled to countries where Australia had no extradition treaty, mostly Turkey. During his time he began creating a cartel that could import large amounts of narcotics into Australia. This group named the Aussie cartel included Mark Dubal, international commander of the Comancheros based in Dubai, Hells Angels Angel's boss Angelo Pandelli operating in Greece, Michael Tao residing in Hong Kong and in the Middle East we had Hakan Arif, Mohamed Bosseli and George Dib. Hakan is also best known for being the key distributor of the anonymous messaging application called Anom. I'll rewind a little to how this all began though. Please like and subscribe. In March 2018, Phantom Secure, a secure messaging company was shut down. This left international criminals without secure communication. During this time, the San Diego FBI branch had begun working with a person who had been creating a next generation encryption device and boom, Anon was created. This encrypted device came with all the bells and whistles. It was a heavily modified Android device that had voice calling, email and location services disabled and had a scrambled pin entry screen to randomize the layout. If you entered a specific pin, you could erase all data on the device, and if the device was inactive for a certain amount of time, all data would also be deleted. But do you want to know the best part? It had a back end directly to the FBI. These devices began circulating in criminal networks and by 2021 there were 11,800 devices in circulation and around 9,000 in use. Now how does this link to Hakan? Well he was one of the main distributors of these devices. He praised them and encouraged his associates to use them. In the words of the Australian Police Commissioner, he essentially set up his own colleagues. This device led to over 800 people being arrested in 16 countries and millions of dollars worth of drugs and cash being seized. Now let's Let's fast forward back to the 3rd of November 2023. Hakan Ayak was arrested by Turkish police along with 36 others. Approximately $250 million in assets was seized during these raids. Operation Cage was executed with assistance of the AFP and Turkish police. The operation continuing from the arrest and information gathered from the Anom app led to the operation being formed to target the Comanchero bikey gang. I tried to gather more information about this online, but the only information I found was that there were months of collaboration between Australian federal police and Turkish authorities. Since Akhan has revoked his Australian citizenship, he most likely won't be extradited to Australia for prosecution. So what does this mean for him and the rest of the Australian underworld? Sources online think Hakan might get killed for the distribution of the Anom app and that powerful people are angry for the arrest of their people. I also believe that the price of Australia's drugs will fluctuate either up or down depending on how rival cartels begin influencing the market. Looking at the South America groups here, let me know your thoughts in the comments about the price changes most likely to come.